This is Shaco Solar's installation in Powhatan, Virginia. It's a 10KW system. You're going to see the start with the trees coming down all the way to the finish with the system up and running. In this scene, cutting down some trees that are blocking the sunlight. Move the trees into the forest, some of which will be used for firewood. A sun eye measurement. Using the sole metric sun eye, the sun eye can gather information using a fish eye lens, a GPS, and a level. You can basically determine the percentage of sunlight that's available at any given spot. This particular location has a pond directly in front of the array, which boosts the output of the system significantly. Marking the spots with spray paint to show where we're going to be digging our holes. We're going to use a 12 inch auger at a depth of 42 inches. This has to be laid out precisely. And ultimately, the entire array is going to depend on the location of the holes. Using a skid steer with a trencher, we dig a trench two feet deep. It's about 220 feet long or so. Using the 12-inch auger there. Here you see it's assembling the conduit using a two inch conduit. Conduit's then put in the ground, covered with a little bit of dirt to keep it from floating. This is ground table water that has entered the trench. That's why we have to cover the pipe to keep it from floating. This was prior to the rain. We use string lines to align all of the poles so that they're perfectly lined up. Pumping out the water in the holes is necessary on multiple occasions. Hand mixing concrete is probably the best way for these systems because we can't have a ready mix concrete truck come out to a site and then stand there and wait for us for many hours while we use the concrete. So it always requires hand mixing. Here you see Hein preparing to mount the SMA inverters on the wall. Inverters weigh about 115 pounds each. The blue wires are Ethernet wires. Cat 5E.
the mounting plates are bolted to the wall. Once they're secure, you can mount the inverter on the mounting plate. Now you see him connecting the disconnect that's on the bottom of the SMA inverter. This is an SMA product. Cutting off the poles. The schedule 40 inch and a half pipe galvanized. We're using Hollyander ties to couple it together. The T fittings that you see are made by Hollyander. 